When necessary and when done properly, testosterone replacement can be a real game changer for men. And when I say if necessary, what I mean is, do you need testosterone therapy to actually regenerate enough testosterone? Perhaps your adrenals aren't working. Maybe the signal from your brain to your testicles is not working effectively. Or maybe the testicles have failed and in fact testosterone replacement is the only thing. So it's important to ask these questions and it's more important to even get answers to these questions. When replacing testosterone, it's not just testosterone levels that need to be evaluated. You need to know what's your estrogen? What about your sex hormone binding globulin? How's your DHEA and pregnenolone? What about keeping the testicles alive? I use HCG or Clomid to actually continue to stimulate the testicles so that if we are doing testosterone replacement, you don't have testicles that shrink and we're getting the full benefit of your own body's production. There's other hormones that have to be evaluated as well when we're looking at testosterone replacement therapy. So there's a lot to it. It's not hard, but it needs to be done properly. We need to look at your hemoglobin and hematocrit and make sure that you're not thickening your blood and putting you at danger. We need to make sure that your prostate is safe. We know that testosterone does not cause prostate cancer. But we still have to be mindful about what's happening with the prostate because sometimes we will have a PSA that elevates once testosterone replacement is started and we need to know so that we can properly evaluate and keep you safe. Men need testosterone. You need testosterone for brain function and bone, heart, muscle, metabolism, wellness. You need it for libido. You need it for sexual function. You need it to feel a sense of well-being. So it's important that we have testosterone replacement available to us. Lots of different ways of doing it. I love pellet therapy because these pellets have been around since the 1920s. They're not new. They're a bioidentical testosterone that is delivered in a very physiologic way. So there, when a good pharmacy is used, there's a good quality pharmacies out there, we get a predictable delivery of testosterone on a daily pulsatile uh, way. And so it mimics the way your body would normally make the testosterone. When we're paying attention to estrogen, we can keep your estrogen in the sweet spot. We do not want you to have low estrogen. And we don't want you to have high estrogen. There's actually a sweet spot that's necessary so that you have great erections and you have good mood and your metabolism and your body composition can be optimal. So if you find yourself with less energy than you think you should have, or that you used to have, you're not sleeping as well, maybe your outlook on life is a little bit dull, you're withdrawing from your family, perhaps you're accumulating a little fat around the middle, maybe you're not recovering like you were in the gym or your muscles aren't as, uh, you're not as fit as you were, you're having a hard time building muscle. These are all signs of low testosterone and you should be evaluated, these things should be addressed, so that you can go on to live a full, healthy, vibrant life.